Hello everybody, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all you YouTubers out there. Today we are going to experience Christmas in Eorzea, or as they like to call it, uh, the Starlight Celebration, where you bring smiles to all the children. It's fantastic. Uh, hey, before we get started, I wanted to talk about a little bit about the Christmas decorations this year, because they're kind of... They're kind of cool because this year it almost kind of seems like a mixture of um, Japanese Christmas culture as well as an American Christmas culture. Um, if I remember correctly, I read uh, most Japanese uh, who are non-Christian kind of treat Christmas as kind of like Santa's birthday almost. Um, there's like Christmas cake and balloons as well as, as gifts. Um, I can't remember if they do the Christmas tree thing or not. I, I don't... I think they do, but I don't remember. Anyway, um, the hell was that? Uh, oh, somebody's mad about their Christmas, I guess. Um, anyway, but it's cool because they're they've got balloons and they've got cakes decorated um, throughout the uh, the city's states as well, which is I thought I just thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, um, enough about the, the the blah blah blahs. Let's go ahead and get started on this event. A Starlight Miracle. Uh, Zalavan, or whatever the lady's name is here, correspondent for the Raven, seeks an adventure to help ensure a smooth running of this year's Starlight Celebration. This quest is available for a limited time only. So it looks like you get the Starlight Tunic. This is a new tunic that they, they did this year. I'm wearing the one from, like, 1.0 days, which is old stuff now. Um, they got the cool little Christmas tree up here and stuff. It's cool. Alright, we're gonna accept that. Ah, oh, an adventurer, marvelous. My name is Zelvin. I scratched the parchment for the little publication called The Raven. Might I enlist your aid in a matter of concerning the Starlight Celebration? You are familiar with the festival and its origins, yes? Ishgardian knights rescuing poor orphans from the frozen fingers of winter. Ooh. The principal hero of the tale, a snowy bearded captain, is often referred to as the Saint of Nemea. Or it was his orthodox order that the wayward waifs were given food and shelter. The compassionate acts of the saint and his soldiers are now honored by an annual tradition where gifts are given to younglings during the coldest days of the year. Which brings us to this, this year's celebration. As a custom of the Starlight Celebrant and her colleagues have donned scarlet apparel. Reminiscent of the jackets worn by those charitable knights. The saints' little helpers are so to speak. Thus attired, they plan to distribute gifts to every child who writes a letter to Nemea, portrait goddess of the celestial wonders. A fine seasonal event this shall make, thought I, and proceeded to publish an article that brought news of this wonderful event to folk across the realm. Since then, however, it appears the celebrant has encountered some unexpected difficulties. Long-winded. Would you be so kind to offer assistance to Amahamgulbe and the Lavender Beds, so that the festivities might proceed as planned? <laughs> to proceed with the quest to Starlight Miracle, you must visit any residential ward within the Lavender Beds. Well, I guess we're off to do that. Here we are in the lavender beds. Starlight celebration start. Saint's little helper. Ah, here's Amha Granny. Pretty good looking for a granny. I don't know. Yes, yes, I am the granny, the starlight celebrant, a master Zillavan Saint you did he? The prayer allow me to explain our dilemma. As you have no doubt heard, our plan for this year's event is to pass out presents to every sweet child, sweet cheeked child who composes a letter to Nemlele. Um, be they from the northern land or the southern sea, at the east end of the city or the west end. An ambitious endeavor, to be certain. Once the raven printed word of our activities in the public publication, however, we were contacted by an enormous supporter, a generous benefactor who offered to fund the entire celebration and all gifts. Wow. Originally, our idea was to have the little ones placed, place their message at the foot of the Starlight Sentinel. 
we erected in each city. Our scarlet-clad helpers would then retrieve the letters and hand present the waiting young ones. Simple. Unfortunately, the wee darlings didn't know which of the seasonal trees in each city was our tree. And now, even the decorated bows found within the Avengers Estates have become recipients of misplaced mail. As you might imagine, it has transformed a fairly straightforward task into a wayward marathon. As eager as we are to plaster our joyous smile to, on each and every child's face, we simply cannot hope to recover so much ground with so few helpers. We are in need of Starlight Miracle. Okay. Could have literally been said in less words. Okay. So I just got my new Christmas outfit. I better put that on. Yeah. It's actually kind of cooler looking. I almost like this one better than the old one. Definitely the female one looks cuter. Starlight Savings. Ooh, and I get a green fallen star. Uh, Grilani is not so subtly hinting that your help is needed to save this year's Starlight Celebration. Okay. Time to read more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the shit? Okay, where's that letter? Ah. Whoa. There's a kid. There's so few kids in Eorzea, and you only see human and elf kids. I've never seen a tiny Lollafell or a little tiny Makote ever, and it weirds me out. Well, you really are one of the saints' little helpers. I've come to collect my letter, haven't you? I waited and waited, but I wasn't sure if anyone would come. Now, there, that one there is mine. No other children come to this tree, so I got all to myself. You'll make sure my messages are delivered, won't you? Indeed, little girl. Well, I guess I should let you go now. Bye-bye, little helper. We call him little. What is this? Oh. Welcome back. Er, how many is it? You have a letter? I do have a little letter. We take the letter back. Written by a child of Eorzea. This quaint message details the materials wished of an innocent soul. Hand over. Ah, oh, isn't that precious? The young lady has written a thank you in big pink letters and drawn charming little pictures of flowers and stars. Here, you must be sure to receive... She receives her presence. You should find her nearby, eagerly glancing about for the appearance of a little helper. Let's not keep the little darling waiting, shall we? Alright, I got I got some gifts. Some gifts. Oh, she's over here. Oh, there you are. Was my letter good enough for a present? Lucky star. This gift was made possible by the donations of an anonymous philanthropist. Philanthropist. Ah, fuck that. Hooray, thank you, little helper. Huh? What's this? I found someone else's letter. Silly helper, you must have wrapped it with my gift by mistake. Here. You better make sure this gets delivered to the goodness. Or the goddess. Uh. I think this so called benefactor has cheated us in some way. I better tell Gertrude. Oh, again, coming up with the child simply for a little joy. Misplaced this letter. How is this letter. How was this letter to the spinner managed to find its way into a gift box? Is a mystery too great even for the agent of inquiry? God damn it. 
Oh dear, oh dear. How how did this get in there? We must remember to thank the young lady for bringing this message back to our attention. Come on, oh, did you happen to glance at the contents of the letter? Listen. There's no such thing as a starlight miracle. If you, the saint, and the little helpers were real, you'd bring back my father. Uh-oh. The poor thing. I, too, know the pain of losing a parent. <clears throat> Perhaps there is something we can do. Yes, I shall look into it. After all, we would not be successful Starlight Celebration if we failed to put a smile on every child's face, now would it? Otherwise, I believe you have proven yourself more than qualified to wear the Scarlet of the Little Helper. Your continued assistance will be most appreciated. And not just here in Lavernabez, either. I am certain my colleagues abroad can also benefit from your aid, assuming you are so inclined. Okay, part two done. Okay, so it looks like... A little help, Lavender Beds, Mist and the Goblet. So I gotta go to all these places. Continue to volunteer and work in the Lavender Beds. As you wish. I don't know if you write or two the letter and deliver to gifts. Yes, you are quite prepared for the task I hand give you. They are identical in nature. He is concerned about the contents of the presents you will be handing out. You need to be. They are simple items fashioned of wood, toy, bows, and hairpins, and the like. Plus the heavens themselves. Okay. So that was just a quest of talk to people. A daily quest is now available from the little helper in the lavender beds. By completing the repeatable task, you will obtain fallen stars, which can be exchanged for Starlight Celebration seasonal goods. Oh boy. The Gift of Joy Lavender Beds. Branch rewards. Branch rewards? Does that mean I get all of I get one of them? Everything? I hope so. Interesting. So, um, you do some quests, it looks like, and then you unlock a repeatable daily quests. So, looks like this is going to be a long, drawn-out um, seasonal event to get everything. You're going to be doing it like every day, it seems like. The Saint's little helper in the lavender bed seeks your assistance for renting the Starlight Celebration recipients. Feels to keep a spirit already. Let's see. Set you down to the test. And all you need to do is collect a child's message from the Starlight Sentinels within the lavender bed. All wearing the tunic. You know, there's three helpers here. You got a root. You want to decorate the Sentinels? They find the bugs and all sorts of things. Oh, okay. Interesting. Talked about the fallen stars is simple. We can devastate your reward harboring volunteers in a type of festivities currency that can be exchanged for seasonal goods. Speak with the Starlight Carrier if you'd like to know more. The position of the Starlight Sentinels will be displayed on your mini map. Search the residential area to pinpoint their locations. You can only obtain one seasonal message at a time, so choose your Sentinel wisely. Keep in mind which fallen stars are needed to purchase the seasonal goods you wish to require. <coughs> Interesting. So, depending on which tree you grab, depending on which tree you grab presents from, it looks like hello again. Richard returns the channel message. Oh, now I have to find the kid. Okay, so I... So it seems like whatever... Whatever type of tree you get it from is the type of gem you get for a reward. And then you trade these gems in for other stuff. West End Girl. A uh, little helper. Can I have a present now? Hmm. Uh, got, I got a present. A present from the goddess. Thank you, little helper. Okay, so 
That was relatively simple on that part. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this time I got a green one. So, like you're saying, depending on which color of tree you take the letter from and return here and then get the present, take it back to the little girl, or little children, uh, that's the type of item you get. Alright. Well, it looks like we're going to do the ones in the other areas. Okay, here we are in the goblet, aka okay, Olda's housing area. Well, it's about time you showed up. The celebrant's been promising, but the promise won't be in the whole mind and blah, 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 blah. Alright, daily quest is now available on the goblet from the little helper. Okay, the gift of joy, the goblet. Same thing again, so. Daily quest. We're gonna pick a tree, and I think this is where the. the, the I wonder if this is where those furnishings come in, because you can get some furniture for outside of your house, like this tree, that's a red one. Yeah, that's crazy. So, the Christmas trees that you can put in the front yards of your free company housing or your house um, is part of the event. That That's a cool thing. Like, I haven't seen them do that before. Alright. I gotta find this find this kid. There he is. East End boy. Look at this. It's just a normal, it's a normal male human child. Where are the where are the children? Makoto children. Hello little helper. Is this part where you give me a present? It sure is little boy. Yes, I was supposed I suppose this will do. Thank you. This will be, that will be all. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, so, yep, picked it from a red tree, so now I get a red gem. It's part of my reward. Alright, here we are in Limza Lomenza's housing area. No, yeah, you get that stuff and that, are ye? You bring you the bliss and blah, 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 blah. The people press now, they will mess. Right. Gift of Joy missed. Ready to run through the warrior, bloody spirit lad. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Yes, I already know how to do everything. I've done it twice now. Alright. There's a blue one. Ah, there he is. West End Girl. Just another regular human child. You think to deceive me, you criminal clad charlatan? I'll have you know I plan on becoming famous arcanist. My magic eyes will see right through your tricky gift illusions. Shut up and take this gift. This feels solid. You might just be who you say you are, so I can keep this. Yay, a present for me! That's what I thought, little girl. Alrighty 
then. You have a the Starlight Celebration in every residential district. Report to Green and Lavender Beds. <clears throat> Alright, so we did all three, all three events uh, for Christmas delivery in uh, each of the city states. Now we gotta go back and talk to the first lady. Alright. Gringy here. Going the extra smile. <laughs> She's another task for us. Alright, let's do it. Coming in with my little helper from across the street. I've been most pleased with your timely assistance. I knew the moment we met. The gentle soul would lurk blah, 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 blah. His name is... Oh, that's part of the actual decent story. His name is Timothy. I know this might not end up being the easiest of conversations, but I wonder if you might go to him and see what happened. Though I wish I... Though I wish to talk with him myself, he will, I imagine, feel more comfortable speaking with a little helper rather than the Starlight Celebrant. Hurry now, come and you should find Timothy, yet lingering near the amphitheater in Old Gridania. Oh boy. Old Gridania. Timothy. Timothy. Buck up. A little helper. What do you want with me? Ah, it's the same letter. Yes, I wrote that letter. And I'm not sorry. You, the saint of the goddess? You're all fakes and liars. You want to bring me a gift and bring back my father? I've gone and lost the bracelet he made for me. And now I've not left to remember him by. Sad. Who's this motherly matron? She doesn't look motherly. She's homely to me. Hey, excuse my sense of poor manners. If I may ask, what was in that letter you showed him? Cinematic scene. Ah, I see. Perhaps it would help if I told you something of our troubles. As the case with so many, the calamity devastated our family. We lost our home, our livelihood, and Timothy lost his dear father. We only arrived here in Gridania after a long and difficult journey. It was during that journey that Timothy dropped his treasured bracelets. My husband was a goldsmith, you see, and they were the last pieces that he ever crafted. You can understand how their loss might affect my boy. With everything else that destroyed in the fires, if it was, it was if he had lost his fathers all over again. I fear Timothy will never smile again. I'm saying something. I'm saying something. I don't know. Shh. You be quiet, cat. I'm emotional over here. I'm emotional. The bracelets. We were attacked by beasts on the road, and I assume. The thing slipped from his wrist as we fled for our lives. I dared not allow him to return to search for them. If I recall correctly, the attack came not long after we entered the Central Shroud, but before we arrived at Ben Branch Meadows. I'm not sure of the exact location. Sad. Goldbert! He's gonna save us all! Where'd he go? Goldbert, come back! Oh, I gotta go speak with Lady at the Lavender Beds again. I am so sick of going to the Lavender Beds. Alright, back at the Lavender Beds. Welcome back, Kamina. Were you able to learn aught uh, that might allow us to ease the poor child's grief? Yeah, I learned all this other great stuff. Ah, I understand only too well how the loss of such treasured mementos might dampen its spirits. Our course seems clear. What you say, little help? What say you, little helper? Will you brave the wild of the central shroud and look for these bracelets? Of course I will. How can I deny such a small, tiny little child his memories? I knew I could count on you. Tis the season and for goodwill after all. Goodwill? More like great will. <laughs> if, if, as the boy's mother says, the mementos were dropped on the road to Bentbrech Meadows. When I would suggest you begin your search in the vicinity of the mirror planks. The spinners, the spinners luck be with you. 
spinners, luck. Okay, here we are in the mirror planks. And there's the destination. We find no signs of the bracelets. Aw, oh, man. Still no sense of the bracelets. Oh man. Finally caught up with you. Yeah. S Snowy haired senior. Whatever, we all know who that is. Why well, it's been surprised the simple ages since we er that is to say, how do you do? I am a humbled gold er hearted pilgrim. Wandering the wilds. No, you need not speak a word. Your plight is known to me. I have here the very bracelets you sought to find. Thanks, Godbert. Of course. I'm sure you're wondering how this ruggedly handsome man <laughs> come to learn of your noble quest. Well, the moment my eye was caught by the glint of precious metal in the grass, Beside the road, I immediately disconcerned the tale behind the treasure's abandonment. A wandering pilgrim is wise indeed in the ways of the world. I took up the bracelets, damaged as they were, and repaired them, aiding only a bare minimum of subtle flair and darling elegance to the basic design. I then went in search of a little helper to find a little help with the delivery. These reborn bangles should bring the grin back to that little Timothy's face. Don't you agree? Take them now. Take them! And be sure to preserve the magic by wearing your festive attire. Some of the best characters in this game ever. Equip the Starlight Tunic and deliver the brassy bangles to Timothy and Old Grid. Alright! There's good old little Timothy. Oh, it's you again. Why do you keep bothering me? What? You found my dad's bracelets? Bassy bangles. Brassy bangles. <laughs> Bassy? I'm an idiot. Well, it's design, color, decoration, and partially all leave something to be desired. No one can deny the talent that went into crafting these unique armor. Ah, I knew you were a liar. These aren't the ones my father... Wait. Where did you get these bangles? I've seen them in a book my father had. It was filled with pictures of some famous goldsmith's masterpieces. He always said that one day he hoped to be skilled enough to craft like that. You're certain they are the bracelets my father made? And a man with a white beard and a scarlet tunic found and fixed them for me? Look, that would mean... Great spinner! You must have met with the Saint of Nimiamir. <laughs> what? One who would know about the bangles my father wanted to make. I can't believe he's really real. Thank you so much, little helper. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now back to the Makota girl in the lavender beds. Here she is. Come now, you're back. How did you fare with young Timothy? <sighs> that's most heartening to hear. His mother must be thrilled to see him smiling again. 
and this talk of the wandering pilgrim sounds awfully familiar. When I was but a girl, I too encountered a entrant and oh man, I can't read shit. Gentleman who marches your matches your description of a snowy haired senior. Why when, when he found me crying over a special ring that I had lost. He raised me out of despair by gifting gifting me with a new band he had forged himself. That moment of kindness shaped my future, I believe. It kindled in me a desire to bring joy to others in the same way that the nameless saint brought joy to me. Could this be that the pilgrims we met were in fact the same person? Perhaps the saint of Nimimiamana himself? Now there's a wonderful idea. With the magic of the starlight celebration and all around us, I can almost believe it to be true. Either way, we cannot leave the bringing of the joy to the saint alone. Come, adventurer. There are yet gifts to give and smiles to find. Ooh, I got some type of hat. Smile high. Alright, let's check out this hat. Hey, you are in the way. I'm trying to put on my Christmas hat. It is the most ridiculous hat. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So that uh, was the Christmas event, pretty much. And to continue to get some of the items, you gotta do all the... There's three daily quests you do in each city. Just remember, the tree that you picked the letter from is the the color of Fallen Star you're going to get. Oh, the gill seller. So these are the, the outdoor furnishings you can get. They all cost two, three, and four green fallen stars, respectively. Star topped, moon topped, and sun topped. So, you, uh, you free company leaders or house owners definitely want to get one of those and put it in your house so you can help others um, get all the, the, the stuff they need for their event. Oh, and you can trade. This guy will let you trade two fallen two green fallen stars for one yellow, one blue, and one red. And then he's got other stuff in here too, it looks like. So he's got the starlight tights, starlight boots, false mustache. Um oh man the the Minion Snowman. Hooray, the snowman was a jolly happy soul. Without a pipe and without a nose and two eyes made out of something other than coal. Probably slag. So you need one of all three colors to get that. Starlight Wreath. Um, need three green. Three green for a stuffed corn. Twinkle boxes. It's a furnishing. An outdoor furnishing of a snowman. More gift boxes. Uh, starlight interior wall. Red starlight gift bag, green starlight gift bag, and then different food in here it looks like. Alright, well, that's it. You've seen the event, you know how to do the event, and you know all the rewards for the event. Um, the Christmas event down for 2014. Uh, please look forward to the New Year's event that will be coming uh, next month, so that should be a lot of fun too. Anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and all that other great stuff. And until the next video, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Blah -blah. I personally would have liked to have seen him as a primal. Although they did the same thing with uh, the Diablos, too. He, he's usually a summon, and they turned him into a, just a dungeon boss, which... Eh, yeah, whatever. I'll go ahead and... Uh,